Okay, uh, today for part two, uh, I'm going to uh, be using a Dremel tool uh, to further refine the shape of the fish, um, the body. Um, I'm going to try to keep this video a little shorter and just kind of touch on the details um, with, with the Dremel and uh, leave all the boring in-between stuff down. Um, I, the other video ran almost 30 minutes, so um, I'm going to try to keep them down to 15 minutes or so. Um, I know it's a long time to try and watch, um, but these, um, I've, I've actually done some more work to it on the belt sander between uh, yesterday and today, uh, taking it down just a little bit further. All right, so um, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off using my Dremel with the flex shaft on it. And I'll be using this um, cuts all coarse burr here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's pretty coarse, it takes off a lot of wood. So let's get started on this here. Probably gonna start up here around the mouth. Kind of shake the mouth a little bit. Okay, so I've got it down a little bit farther. A um, little flare of the tail, and I'll further refine that later. Um, I've got the mouth a little closer. So now I'm going to put a, um, a sanding bit on here, if I can find it here. So now I'm going to put a um, this little drum sander on here. It's a, a 36 grit. Uh, a little bit better job of smoothing it out and it takes off a lot of wood also I didn't like these at first but the more I use them the more I like them and what that'll do is that'll take off this rough filings that the uh, coarse bit took off and it takes off wood as well I would say it, uh, it does a good job of shaping itself Alright, I'm going to start taking this tail shape down to accept the fin once I get ready to put it on. And again, I leave it a little bit thicker than what I think it should be. Um, because I like to start out thick and, and kind of sneak up on the finished size I want.
Okay, I'm gonna stop there for a second and talk about the mouth. Um, to me, doing the mouth is um, it's one of the hardest parts of getting the fish to look right. Uh, to me, it can make or break the whole finished uh, piece. Uh, so for me, it's the hardest part. Um, so I, I check and recheck, and I, I'm sure you'll probably see me uh, putting the pattern on it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to do that right now. Um, putting the pattern on there and just kind of eyeballing it. See, I can already tell that I need to take a little bit more off the bottom here um, but again I want to kind of sneak up on that I don't want to just jump right in and grind it all down um, but the width between the eyes it's real important uh, I've seen a, a lot of people's works where it's just real wide between here and if you look at if you look at one in person if you see one up close there's not that much room between the eyes it, get, it narrows down quite a bit so um, I need to really watch out for that also. Um, but it's pretty close. I can tell it's pretty close to where I want it. So I'll, I'll check the pattern frequently. And um, it's starting to look pretty good, I think. Uh, I've got the flare of the tail just a little bit. Uh, may take that down a little bit more. Uh, and I'll when I get the fin, the, the tail fin, cut and getting ready to attach it uh, then I'll refine this shape down here uh, as well as the thickness of it so um, all right let me get started on this Ooh, mercy What I'm doing here is I'm going to establish the where the body meets the head plate. Um, basically, this little spot right here. Uh, it's usually got just a little bit of a hump here, and then a gradual slope. So I'm going to establish this. I'll groove it in, and then I kind of smooth it down as I go so I just put the barrel on here and I just do just a slight little groove around where that head will be See that. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. So and then I'll start taking that back a little bit. And I'll take this down some. Put it in a spot roughly where their eye will be, kind of smooth, leveling it off a little bit. 
Uh, and again, I'll refine that as I get closer. Um, starting to take shape a little bit. Um, I got the mouth pretty close to where I want it. I'm going to go in and start doing a little bit of inside the mouth detail, hollowing it out. Uh, a little bit of hint of a tongue in there. Um, and then I probably need to draw on a pattern, the gill pattern, uh, just to kind of see everything's proportionate to where I want it to be so let me do that okay so I'm going to um, get the eye placement on right now so I'm gonna line the pattern up as close as I think it needs to be as close as I can make sure everything's straight and I just kind of hold it in place. I know some guys will glue it in, but um, I'm just going to leave it like this. And then I'll take a little awl or a point or a pencil or something and just poke a little hole right in the center there. And that'll give me the center of where the eye needs to be. So and then I can sand that down a little bit to give it more of an eye socket start. And so, uh, all right, well, I'll turn it over on this side. And now that it's, since I've got my hole there, since the pattern is not on this side, I can uh, kind of get it lined up with the mouth. And that'll give me an idea where I need to go on the this side for the eye. All right, that looks about right. So since I've got a hole in my paper from the other side, I know that's where the center of the eye is, so I'll poke a little hole, just a little divot there. And then that gives me the divot for the other eye. And I'll probably draw those on, just so that I can get a, an idea. this eye over here where the people will be. I'm going to draw that on here as well. And I'm just getting close. I'll do an exact eye shape shortly. And then I look at it head on to see if they look like they're level the same distance up and down forward and back and they look pretty close so that's where i'm going to start so what i'll do is i'll flatten this out a little bit more you know i had, had that bit a while ago and I, or sanding pad and i was flattening this out just a little bit and i'll flatten it out a little bit on this side as well and then later on i'll i'll be joint drilling the um, eye sockets so but this lets me know where i need to start shaping the head And um, for the eyes, because the eyes are real important. If they're not straight on the fish, and it, that can be one of those that make or break the whole piece. Uh, and then just roughly the mouth shape here. I was talking about on the eye on this maxilla bone it doesn't come back past this point of the eye so it needs to come down 
something like that. And on this original pattern, before I corrected it, they had this they had this maxilla bone coming way back here. And that's it's more like a large mouth. A large mouth comes way back beyond the eye. So I took it in Photoshop, redrew the whole thing, and made the maxilla bone a little bit shorter to get it to line up with the eye here. So we can find that down a little bit. Flatten this out a little bit where the eye socket will go. Same on this side. Now you can kind of see the eye placement now, I and mean, it's fairly straight. And I will uh, say later on as I get more into the details, I'll actually drill the hole for the eye. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work more on this mouth. Uh, hollowing it out a little bit and giving that little hint of a tongue there. So I'm going to change my bit. A second here. Put in just a little round uh, carbide bird, just a little round. That'll kind of give me a good. Another tip I learned on this hand unit on this Dremel. When I first got this thing, I would lock down the, and I don't ever use the wrench on these. It, it locks down tight enough that I found just doing it hand tight. Uh, this little button uh, locks it, you gotta kind of fill the spot. And I know there's been trouble with this little button uh, grooving out the little slot that it goes in and it won't hold anymore. So that's why I don't use the uh, the wrench on it. I just find that little slot, hold it, and tighten it down by hand. And one of the things I had trouble with at first with this is when I tried to unlock it to pull it out, it, it seemed to be stuck. And I, and I would have to get my pull hard, and man, I couldn't get it. And then I saw, watching a YouTube channel, I, I don't remember who it was, it's ever stuck, loosen it up, and then just push it down, and then it'll pop right out. Duh. Anyway, little tip. That saved me a lot of headaches. All right. And another thing, um, on some of these deep cuts, I like to bring the tip out just a little bit. So it'll give me a little bit more reach. And I still it still grips good enough. <coughs> I'll try to get up here where you can see. It's kind of awkward here. So I just start hollow lightly hollowing it out. I'll leave a spot for the tooth pad there.
Okay, I start out trying to put just a little groove and leaving a spot for where I think the, the width of the tooth pad will be. Uh, and once I get that little groove around, then I start hollowing out the more you know, more of the uh, roof of the mouth. It's a little tough if the mouth is not open all the way. I just take my time here. I don't. I could probably use a bigger bit. Uh, but I really don't want to mess this up, so I just take my time and use a small bit. I go as deep as I can, so this is fairly hollow up in there, and I don't worry about much detail in there because you're not going to be looking down in there that much anyway. If the mouth was more open, um, I would probably add more detail in there. But as it is, I'm just going to leave it uh, kind of hollowed out. Okay, I'm going to try to get the tongue in place. I'll start off the same way. Just doing a light groove around the base for the bottom teeth. The bottom two pads. Okay, on this one, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to um, leave a this light off. Maybe we can see a little better. A little groove around and leave them instead of hollowing out like I did the mat the up the roof of the mouth. I'm going to leave uh, with just the hint of a tongue in there. Okay, I think I got it down, uh, refined down. It's looking like I think it should. Um, may do a little bit more tweaking here and there. As you can see, that it is um, starting to shape up, fitting the pattern out right nicely. Um, I've got the mouth pretty close. It needs a little more tweaking, and uh, so on part three, I think I'll will lay in the permanent lines for the gill covers and the mouth structure and we'll do that on both sides and uh, get that mouth refined down so all right appreciate y'all watching and uh, see you on the next one